Okay, now to the example, we have the resultant of certain system of force has x and y components shown in the figure below. Determine the components of this resultant with respect to n and t rotated to 3 degrees counterclockwise relative to x and y axis. So, parang siyang physics, we have normal and tangent. So, this is the figure. So, we have Fy for 18 fx is 300. So, we have to know the resultant. So, paano yung resultant yan? So, ito lang po. R is equal to summation forces of along x-axis and of course summation forces of y squared. So R is equal to 300 squared plus 480 squared. So R is equal to 566 kilonewton. So what is your theta? So theta is unknown. So we have tangent inverse or tangent is equal to summation of Fy over fx okay therefore theta is equal to lagyan natin an inverse and tangent so we have 480 divided by natin ng 300 so you have the value of your tangent to be or theta to be 58 degrees so para sa yung theta natin din dyan so lagyan natin yung resultant muna on this figure so, mapapansin nyo dito sa figure, ito na yung resultant natin, and then ito yung 58 degrees. Pero, ang hinahanap dito sa problem is, yung components daw ng resultant with respect to N and T natin, at nag-rotate pa siya within uh, 30 degrees counterclockwise. So, kailangan natin ilagay yan dyan. Okay, so, na mapapansin nyo sa figure? On this figure, naglagay ako ng normal and then the tangent at 30 degrees counterclockwise. So, Ito po yung ibig sabihin nun. So, dati kasi, dito yung tangent natin, tas dito yung normal, diba? So, horizontal. Pero ngayon, nag-rotate doon ng 30 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, we have to know the resultant with this value, or resultant with respect to normal, and then also for the tangent. So, we all know that this is 58 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, ima-minus natin yung 30 kung saan nag-rotate yan. So, we have 28 degrees dyan. So, ito na yung kukunin natin. R and resultant along normal for is natin. So, we have Rn is equal to, since this is cosine, so 566 cosine of 28 degrees. So, ito yung Rn natin. So, Rn is equivalent to 500 kilo newton. So, next, what is your RT? Yung RT naman natin, ito, parang parang din siya dyan. So, we have T. So, RT is equivalent to 566 sine of 28 degrees. So, RT is equivalent to 266 kilonewton. So, that is our final answers.